Hey there, welcome to Castle Glen Winery. I'm Ed, the owner, and we, this is part of our series on common questions asked about wine. Excuse me. Mm. This? Oh, sorry, it takes a lot of whiskey to make wine. All right, so today's topic is sniffing the cork. Uh, you've probably seen people do this in movies, or maybe you've even seen some friends do it. The simple fact of the matter is that that's pretty much a bunch of hooey. Uh, it takes an extraordinarily trained person to be able to sniff the cork and be able to tell any characteristics about the wine whatsoever. So let's talk about what you can tell from the cork. So whether you're at home or uh, you're at a restaurant, the cork comes out of the bottle of wine. You want to you want to get the cork and just take a quick examination of it. The end that was in the wine. Don't worry, I'm going to give you a close up in a minute. The the end that was in the wine should be obviously dark stained from the wine. Uh, it should be soft and supple and damp, indicating that the wine was stored correctly. The other end, where the corkscrew went in, uh, should be firm but uh, a little pliable. It should not be dry and crumbly. So here's the key that you want to look for, and this is almost foolproof. You want to look at the sides of the cork. If wine, if there's a wine stain that goes from one end that had the wine all the way to the corkscrew end, if there's a line that goes all the way from one end to the other, that bottle of wine is bad, guaranteed 100% of the time. If it only goes part of the way up, then the bottle is probably good. The reasoning behind this is, is if wine can get out, then air can get in, the bottle is oxidized and probably started to turn to vinegar. So with that, I'm gonna give you a close-up shot here. All right, I hope that answers your questions about uh, sniffing the cork. If you have any other questions, you can post comments here and we'll be happy to address them during this series. Cheers, hope to see you at the winery soon.